and Moorhead State, although they can run it, I mean, they've made their name uh, throwing the ball. I think last year he either led the country or led the country for most of the year in, in pass offense. Um, they know what they're doing uh, with their passing game, and so we'll definitely be tested to some degree for the first time this year in a game, you know, with a team that's going to throw the ball as much as uh, Moorhead State does. Yeah, well, first of all, I mean, we got to – if we can't stop the run game this week, we got a we got a big task on our hands because they get, they run some good play action stuff. Um, off their run games, I know they got some good running backs too, who I think received some league honors last year as well. And uh, we got to shut that down first, and then uh, then we got a whole other monster on our hand with that quarterback. He's a good player. He makes his reads quick. He gets the ball out of his hands quick. Um, got a big offensive line, so we're gonna have to. Um, really, really get after them up front and be locked in and focused and hitting our moves and playing together as a unit as our D line and our front seven. Yeah, I mean we want to be we want to be balanced, but you know last week we weren't because we were trying to come back, so we threw it over 50 times, which is more than than we would like. But uh, yeah, for people who like to see the ball in the air, I mean this game, you know Drake Stadium on Saturday, um, you've got you know like you said two of the top 10 uh, passers in PFL history, you know going head to head here. Uh, I mean, all the receivers, uh, Nick Rosa, Joey Orlando, Kevin Marshall, Senya, Hohenstein, I mean, all the running backs. Everyone does great. Um, they're all awesome. Anyone can go in there and make plays. And uh, they all get open. The whole line gives me time, and uh, they, they get the job done. Yeah, I mean, the conference season is, is what it's all about. You know, we, we wouldn't change uh, the scheduling at all for how we did it in our, our non-conference schedule. We played three great teams and definitely has made us uh, better. Um, but, yeah, I mean, this is the start, you know, find your football league. And, you know, our goal is to be our best. And we believe that, you know, if we're our best, then we've got a chance to be champions. And uh, that road uh, started a long time ago. But in terms of the measurables, the wins and losses in the Pioneer Football League obviously starts on Saturday. And so uh, we'll be very, very excited Still to get it going. I mean, we love it. We love we love what what league play brings to the game. And, you know, you're, you're used to the other teams. You know the guys from the teams. You know, you played them in the years past. And it's, uh, it's fun and it's intense. And there's heat, you know, the whole game. And... Uh, we just we love the energy that that Pioneer League games have in them.